So now I will discuss previous year question from unit 1 that is the male part androsium part that is stem and anther filament and all those things okay now so first question is in angiosperm microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis so there are four choices that is it occurs in anther so microsporogenesis occurs in anther but not megasporogenesis forms gamete without further division not true mitosis after meiosis takes place then involves meiosis it is true it involves meiosis let's see the four choice occurs in ovule it is not correct it is true for megasporogenesis not so answer will be third okay so next question <laughs> male gamete in angiosperm are formed by the division of so I have discussed male gamete formation sorry Formation of male gamete takes place as a result of mitotic division in genitive cell. So answer will be second. Okay. Now, next question. I have discussed this question while discussing the text. That is the proximal end of filament of a stamen is attached to connective. <coughs> okay through attached to the thalamus or petals okay so answer will be third next question which one of the following statement is not true so there are four statements we have to find out which one of the following is not true First is, exine of pollen grain is made up of sporopollen. Yes, it is true. It is strongest known organic substance. Cannot be degraded by any, anything. Okay. Second, pollen grain of many species cause severe allergy, pollen allergy or hay fever. True. Third, stored pollen liquid nitrogen can be used in crop breeding program. True. That is cryopreservation. Then, fourth one, tapetum helps in dehiscence. That is not true. It is not dehiscence. It provides nutrition. So it is nutritive. So incorrect statement is fourth. So answer will be fourth. Okay. Now next question. Male gametophyte in angiosperm produces. So I have discussed this. Male gametophyte consists of three cells. That is one vegetative cell plus two male gamete which is produced as a result of mitotic division in genitive cell so answer will be two sperm and a vegetative cell answer will be first okay now next question the repeat of earlier question that is Pollen grain can be stored for several years in liquid nitrogen having a temperature of minus 196 degrees centigrade. That is cryopreservation. This is also an important component of germplasm. Conservation that we will study in biodiversity. Uh, sorry, even in plant breeding and biodiversity. Okay, next. There are four question, uh, four statements, and you have to find out which one is not true. It is very important to mark what this question is asking. So it is asking which statement is not true. First choice is pollen grain are rich in nutrient and they are used in the form of tablets and syrup. It is true. It is used for enhancing performance of resources and athletes. Second, pollen grain of some plants cause severe allergy and bronchial affliction. It is also true. Then third, the flower pollinated by flies and beetles secrete fall order to attract them. It is also true. Then fourth choice is honeybee is made by bees by digesting pollen collected from flowers. It is not true. So answer to this because pollen is not digested. Honey is vomit of honeybee. Okay. So answer will be fourth. Okay. Next question. Male gamete in angiosperm are formed by the division in 
So it is formed as a result of division in genitive cell. Okay, I have discussed this. Genitive cell divides to form two male gamete. And it is very important to remember in most of the cases, pollen is leads at two celled stage. So in those cases, when pollen lands on a stigmatic surface after pollination, then genitive cell will divide to form two male gamete. Next. Which one of the following is resistant to enzyme action? I have discussed this sporopollenin, which makes this pollen enzyme. Okay. Is highly resistant organic material, and that's why <coughs> it is resistant to enzyme action because no enzyme, no alkali, no acid can degrade this. Okay. Next question, same question in different language, an organic substance that can withstand extremes, withstand environmental extremes and cannot be degraded by any enzyme is sporopollen, which makes exine, pollen exine. So answer will be second. Okay. Now, next question, which one of the following statement is correct? There are four statements. We, have, have, we have to find out which one is correct. First choice is sporogenous tissue is haploid. It is not correct. Sporogenous tissue acts as pollen mother cell and it is diploid. Second choice, endothesium produces the microspore. It is also not correct. Microspore is produced by pollen mother cell, which is nothing but sporogenous tissue because potentially every cell of sporogenous tissue is <coughs> pollen mother cell. Then tapetum reaches the developing pollen. Okay, so it is correct. Four choices, hard outer layer of pollen is called intine. It is not correct. It is not intine. It is exine. So answer will be third. Okay. Next question. Which one of the following have proved helpful in preserving pollen in fossils? I have discussed this. This is because of the sporopollenin. It is highly. So what you are observing, this part is repeated several times. This question is repeated several times, which is related to pollen exine or sporopollenin. Okay, so that means it is very important from exam point of view. N number of time questions have been asked from this. Okay, now next. Which one of the following is surrounded by a callous wall? So while discussing the text of NCRT, it is not there in NCRT, but this question has been asked. I have told you. This is pollen tetrad or mi microspore tetrad and this is your pollen mother cell. So this pollen mother cell or we also call it microspore mother cell. Now this microspore mother cell is surrounded by callus wall and these microspore are joined with the help of callus and this callus wall is degraded by enzyme callase which is produced by tapetum. So answer will be first that is microspore mother cell. Okay. Next question. I have discussed this. Pollen tablets are available in market for because it is rich in nutrient. It is used as a as an <coughs> food as a food supplement for enhancing performance of athletes and resources so answer will be supplementing food okay next question so we are through with so we are through with unit one and all the previous question which has come from unit one